We're here with Richard Ratcliffe at the National Association of Hospice Fundraisers Com Convention in Brighton. Richard, tell us what you're talking about today. Well, I'm trying to get people to do more intensive and noticeable legacy campaigns because so many of them go unnoticed. Uh, it's really quite worrying. So we're challenging the boundaries of acceptability, really. And what can hospice fundraisers do with legacy fundraising? Well, they can do an awful lot in terms of making sure that people know how they're funded for a start because they don't understand how hospices are funded. Um, but also, it's a local cause. And in a moment when we're looking at all the new regulation and reputation and brands of charities, they are probably the most trusted charities of the lot. And legacies are all about trust and confidence in the future. Indeed. And you've just written a book. Tell us more about your Oh, book. I have. <laughs> uh, it's really exciting, actually, because I've been, it's really talking about the past and the future, because uh, I've been in this business 30 years. I've met about 28,000 people. And the more I meet people, the more I get really passionate about legacies, really. So I wrote this book, uh, which is called, um, oh, what is it called? It's called uh, Why, Char Why Legacies Are Brilliant and How Charities Can Get Them. Um, and it's really about the future, because the future is all about an aging population who have very fragile financial situations but you know one in three donors one in three volunteers are putting a gift in their will let's help everybody get them and are legacies available to all charities should all charities yes. be fixed on? well that's a really good question because actually a lot of people are now giving legacies to charities they don't think of as charities uh, such as the education sector museums galleries uh, performing arts bodies and they're the fastest growing sector so any charity it's a little minute one in a local community uh, or really massive one globally every single charity has a massive opportunity now but you've got to get on with it Richard Ratcliffe thank you very much